quick shout out here to my friend John Traxik. I hope I got that right. Welcome to his clouds on his skies are unreal. I'm going to be showing you some forensic tool tonight. I'm going to be showing you this picture that he caught, which I love. I cropped it down, 5K'd it, brought it all the way in, got it as clear as I could. It's a little dark, but you know, it's okay. Um, you're still going to be able to see quite a bit on this. So stay tuned. I'm going to put some music on to start it, and I'm going to just do some stuff, and then I'm going to cut in and talk about a few things. Um, this picture is surreal. That's why the intro was so ridiculous. <laughs> to get you ready for it. But yeah, you're looking at a planet up there. You're looking at a ship down there. You're looking at a ship to the right up there. You're actually looking at more than I just said. But right now, I'm going to show you this, sh this ship. This is what got me. The comments said, Lord Jesus, oh my, please come back. And I thought, I felt that prayer. And I looked at that ship and said, let's see what I could do. And as I dug into it, I kind of got paralyzed, not with fear, but the fact that I had to do this. <laughs> I could not ignore this, you know. So good morning, everybody. Grab some coffee. I'm going to show you some blue beam activity in the skies. I enlarge this picture. So get ready. Hang on for about 15 minutes, all right? <laughs> You'll be okay. Now I want to say that when I removed the light over there on the left, I had a lot of purple, so um, a little while later I'll show you the forensic on the light and you tell me if the purple is part of a purple planet or if it's part of the hue from the light. But anyways, the, the moon is interesting in itself and the windows in this, this spaceship are mind-blowing for me. I mean, I watch like third phase of the moon and I watch like secure team they show you small stuff he had something like this but you could actually see the windows 5k this you know um you can manipulate the filter so you can see what you're seeing I mean, those lights are real or they're something right so comment if you know because i like to know too or if you got a picture like this comment and i'll send you i'll send you my uh, email address in the comments so keep watching getting wild. I'm filtering it right now as you're watching. It's absolutely amazing how clear you can see those windows. You see the phone lines. This thing is not that far up above the phone lines. Um, it's farther back. Um, but as you look at that purple, and then you look straight up, there's almost like the lead object there. Now this is um, the larger view of it. And I can hear you thinking, show us the bigger picture of that. Here's the bigger picture. I think that's part of Blue Bean. Um, some type of machine they're trying to hide that asteroid or you know and this ship right here is actually personally watching this thing looking at it analyzing it none of this stuff from John is fake I appreciate his integrity on this because look at the windows see I don't know if he's making this by faking it by CGI then he's a master of CGI um, 
there's just no indication that he's really faking this. I got I got the filter on heavy, and I don't see any indications of any kind of faking it. But you know, they say the equipment out there is so good that you could. They believe I fake everything I do, but actually I don't believe John's faking this at all. Um, this is real capture, real time. He's got a lot of beautiful sunsets. I won't show them here, but uh, you know, check over to Facebook and throw Tom's name in there, or John's name in there. Um, he reminds me of a friend's name, Tom, that I know. Uh, he has sort of the same last name. And you see the black spot right there? Those are pixelations because there's so much um, pixels in this picture. When you darken it, you get the pixelation like that. Um, it could be my system's getting old, beat up from doing this. Anyways, keep watching. Um, if I point out something like that, put a timestamp and tell me what you think it is. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? Keep watching. So some of you will say I can't see it, but most of you will say, oh my God, oh my Lord. But uh, the reason I show you this is because I want to show you this uh, little movie clip um, from a newly come out movie. I'm not going to try to draw attention to the movie. I'm just going to show you the clip in the movie. And this is recent. Here you go. And basically, this guy sees ships in the clouds, like I'm showing you ships in the clouds, right? And in this movie, I got to slow down quite a bit, and I'm shrinking it up. I'm just going to hone in on what's, see what's behind them, see the shadow. See, now this is a movie they're showing America. Um, so they're getting you ready, desensitizing you about ships in the cloud. I'm here to tell you, be not afraid, and remember, use the word of God to fight this stuff. Let me tell you. And this is what comes out of the cloud. So, uh, you know, spoiler alert on this movie, I'm not going to tell you unless you comment. If you comment what the movie is, you might know what it is. Everybody else would know too. Um, but this this thing chases this ship chases this man down, and so here we go in this actual rock clip right here. Uh, it, it's a, hats off, man. That's a great picture, John. That's a great picture. I'm supposed to say hats off on that picture of a UFO. Um, I hope you know. I hope. Uh, uh, secure team or three phases to the moon finds it but this one right here I'm gonna start out with my forensic tool and what this forensic tool does it actually is like used for fingerprints and stuff but I, I have adapted to use it for the clouds now as I'm showing stuff I'm not gonna talk about all of it but um like this this thing above right about right there above I think that's a cloud maker and uh, you look at it you could actually uh, Contrast by normal. This is contrast by normal. Or you can contrast by channel. I'll put that on. But you can see the edge of this ship. And this is just this clip. I think was Tom's too. I mean John's too. Sorry, sorry John. Um, I think this was one of his. I didn't mark it. And if it's not his, whoever had this picture is amazing. Put your name down there on the comments. Um, and I do that because I move so quick and I watch so much stuff in one day. But that's a cloud maker on top of that ship. Kind of reminds me of a whale. You know, they have those little suckers. Sharks, they have those little suckers on them. If you look at those little clouds around the, around the ship, in that cloud, it's, it, the whole thing is making clouds. Now this is, um, this is 
contrast by channel. Now what it does is separates the color by if it's a metallic or if it's um, organic. And you can really get a good contrast like right there. I think that's something in the cloud right there. It's like a square deal, right? A bunch of stuff. So, you know, I don't know. I have no science on this. I'm looking, you know, 3,000 feet up probably um, with a photograph that's really, really good. I did a little bit of filtering just to clear it, make it real super sharp so I could see it. And look how sharp that is. That's a ship making clouds out of the side or out of the back. And there's a couple right straight up there from what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to watch, you know, the picture itself and me pointing at it in the little window. So that means after you get done watching this, and I want you to watch it to the end, uh, flip back and, and watch this stuff even more. Take some pictures and share them. I don't care. Uh, my channel is all about sharing stuff and you know making people aware that they're not alone It's not about UFOs. It's more about Planet X, but you know, I take what I get um, I'm allowed to show this stuff um, You know so far it's so far out there what I'm showing that they let me show it and then they just shadow ban my YouTube channel like crazy so if you guys would do me a favor and start sharing some of my crazy photos like this um, or examinations or inspections but right there you're seeing the edges of some multiple ships cloud ships are kind of laying on their land like you know if you took hot ice and poured water over it it just kind of forms this nice little shadow but uh, what I really want to show you is this picture under the magnifying glass I should say the forensic tool is really cool um, there's a number of things you could do to it uh, you could the luminous this is just a is the light I'll soon tell you this is just the um, tool the uh, magnifier or the contrast by channel contrast by normal um, this thing that's going on in this cloud right here I'm not really sure but it does look like a pretty cool dragon's face I gotta admit that there's a bunch of faces right through here you got a nail they're gonna be like UFO faces you see how this thing if you look at the pointer you're seeing right through the dark. This thing still picks it up by contrast. It's a real object. So when you go to the luminous, luminous is a little touchy, but it kind of does a topographical map, let's say, easy to understand. And it shows you what's real, and it shows you what's not. Um, it's pretty, pretty intense, too. So if you go up here where you see things, Let's see, look back at it at a normal level. Let's say, look at the ship right there. You see the outline of the ship right here. There's an outline for it. And if you put it back down to the luminous, you can see the outline also. Technically, you can see it. It's really there. Now, if it wasn't really there and it was an overlay of a picture on top of a picture, it, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have the edges that it has when I do the luminous. Anyways, let's see what else we got. Um, so I got different shots that are like 5K and makes this tool even more fun um, to use. But, you know, it's time to pray, people. It's time to know if you got Jesus in your heart and you're ready for this thing to happen. Or if you're going to watch it right until your house gets hit by an asteroid. Now, I don't know the preparation anymore. I used to think, I, I used to thought I knew preparation. But my preparation is Psalm 91 and a lot of Jesus in my heart. Read the word every day and pray now. Whatever you're using, whatever God you're calling on is not working and you're scared to death. There's no fear in this because this stuff's going to happen if you like it or not. It's just that you're going to be ready for when it happens and not freak out. And that's kind of like, you know, you got a fireball like that or you got something going by the earth like that size of a rock up there. And then you got this other machine. I've seen this machine before um, on other pictures in the last three years. I've seen it three times. And I wasn't sure if I got it, but this picture solidifies it, that I got it. Okay, I'll stop rambling, but you got to look at this and tell me what you think about this in comments, okay? As you can tell, I'm trying to get you to comment about this photo.
punch real quick I'm gonna freeze frame this cloud making object there it is right there it's pouring out smoke look at the bigger object pouring out a cloud it's, they make their own clouds that's all I have to say So as the movie went, this UFO was hiding in the clouds and it just taunted this guy to no end. He tried to tell his friends, I think, and all. I actually haven't seen the movie. I want to go see it, but if you watch clouds like I do, you probably don't want to see it. Warning. It might freak you out. You might actually start thinking, oh, I can't sleep. My moon's got something beside it. So one day I'm going to wake up, folks, and my videos are going to go super viral and I don't even know it. I open it up and there'll be like 3.5 million hits on it. And they did a news report on these cloud makers and this ship. And uh, let's see, it looks, it's so real that it looks fake. It's like, you know, it's out of a movie, but it's not. This is not out of a movie right here. This is, it's what it is, what I'm showing you. So share it with a couple friends. Uh, if you need to clip the back end of just this big ship right here out, go ahead. I don't care. Just give me a shout out. If I find it, I will nail it. If you don't give me a shout out. Um, you guys could use any of my material, but just give me a shout out because I need the traffic. Uh, AI's, you know, AI don't want me to show this. He knows I'm way advanced showing stuff that I should not be showing. And it, like literally like that cloud maker right there is a cloud maker. See the smoke pouring out of the back of it. My lord, help me. Anyways, see if I can freeze frame that. Now, big shout out to all my new subscribers. Um, I got about 500 faithful uh, subscribers since 2017. I started doing all this in 2017. Did not know what I was doing. But anyways, big shout out to all my new subscribers. If you've not seen me do the forensic tool or declouding uh, cloud, not the declouding clouds, uh, erasing clouds and showing you ships behind them, go to my 2022 and 2021 video folders uh, playlist. And you will see stuff that, you know, I got a picture in my 22 playlist um, last six months where they showed this rainbow cloud over a cloud. And I showed you two aliens inside the ship's window. If you could find that video, I can't find it that easy. Uh, I'd have to put down UFOs or aliens in the window or something, you know, and try to find my own videos. I got quite a bit of videos. So keep watching, and if you get bored, just go to the playlist 22. Go backwards. You'll find more stuff than you want to find. And that's the truth. This is called visual truth, folks. Where I show you what I see, I show you it's real, and you could be the judge. You can call it fake and, you know, laugh at Jesus and go straight to hell. Or you could bend the knee and bow the knee and bow the tongue and confess Jesus as Lord. And you're all good, but, you know, only you know. If you could do that or not, only you know.